Guys, get this tape. Hmm. It's going to save you. And where is the other one? The one for webbing in the okay. Because I've used this tape to like safeguard most of my stuff. I'll still show you guys if I get jam. I'm just like putting everything here and I'll still come back to them. But this thing now get it my wigs hi guys <coughs> welcome back to my channel this is your first time here you're welcome if you're returning welcome back it's nice to have you guys here so i feel like everything on this movie vlog i've just been everywhere like it's not properly articulated and this is not me it's not me but then I think I'm just getting used to this whole vlogging stuff, so you guys will be with me. So, welcome to my channel. So, I want to start a new. Are you sure there will be traffic? Okay. I should have taken this place. Did you? This junction, there's always mad traffic. Let's just take this place here. Alright, guys, so like I was saying, I just went to the salon to relax my hair because I'm going to be braiding my hair tomorrow. I have just three more days to leave. So, I wanted to. I promised you guys I was going to show you guys some of the things I got and things I'm traveling with and since yesterday I started packing I started putting like things together trying to actually get the quantity of stuff I need so that I don't have excess luggage so that's what I've been up to so I've been able to wrap them all up in uh, ziplock bags and all so I'll be showing you guys oh, gosh. I'll be showing you guys that once I get home because tomorrow I'm going to be going to the salon for my hair and probably my nails because I just want to enjoy myself for the very last time in Nigeria because I don't think this, this is a luxury that I, I probably won't be able to afford for a while so let me just enjoy it here while I can still afford it here right so yep so getting my hair done and my nails done so that is it so I'll, I'm going to be showing you guys so this is officially like a packing vlog starting up with packing vlog I'm going to show, be showing you guys what I'm packing the things I'm going with and um, how I've packed them so that's just the reason why I said okay let me just introduce this vlog here before I get home you guys already saw in the last clip I don't know if you saw it I already moved out of my apartment so I'm currently in my friend Uche's house so I just have three more days to Japan. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog and if you're not subscribed to this channel yet, please do well to subscribe, okay? And like this video. If you're seeing this, in fact if you're listening to me now, like this video. Alright, so let's get down into me showing you guys what I have in my travel luggage. Okay guys, so I have two luggage, I have two bags. So this bag this bag contains my personal stuff and that is for my food stuff and this is my hand luggage so i'm going to quickly show you guys what i have in this bag like almost everything in it and then my food stuff okay so i've not really packed i've, I've not really arranged the way it's going, going to be but i've wrapped almost everything the way they are going to travel this is my makeup 
I have a number, a lot of makeup actually. I used to be a makeup artist. I'm going to revamp that skill, don't worry. This is my hair stretcher. Hold on guys, let me adjust my tripod, okay? It's very much stable. Right, so this is my detox tea. You guys know that I used to, okay, you guys don't know, but if you're an OG here, I have this brand, Havila Fitness, where I sell detox tea, so I'm taking some with me. Then this, I have my personal stuff like sponge. I heard that the sponge there can be quite soft, so I'm getting this one at least for a start. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then wigs, more wigs. Then this is a crochet. Yeah, so and some hair bands I have in there. Then more wigs. Like in each pack of this stuff you're seeing, I have like two or three wigs, like minimum of two in each of them. And this is still a uh, makeup bag. I have makeup here. A lot of makeup, guys. If you have your makeups, go with your makeups because you will definitely need them. Judah, what did I say? I said don't make noise. All right, guys, so this is my lotion. I bought the lotion and toothpaste I have here. I just got two. This thing weighs a lot. If you have your body lotion in Canada, if you can get it there, please don't bother because the weight of this stuff alone, hmm, it's crazy. Then I have some attachment in case I see someone to make my hair or I can afford to make my hair <laughs> right there. So yeah, I have a bunch of stuff for my hair. Like hair pins, combs, um, wax, you know, and even some tutoring stuff. And my hair rollers here. See how I just wrapped everything so no stress. Here I have my medication. I got anti malaria and some other medications, you know. So, but I, I got doctor's prescription just because I don't want to take chances in case if immigration. They are going to harass me so i have my prescription then this is my hair dryer this is my body serum i'm toner i think yeah wrapped here more weeks i have like three weeks here i have these chips guys i told you guys in okay this i have this my scarf and some other little little things i have So I still have some of my clothes. Like I'm going with like just little, just a few clothes actually. I told you guys I made a lot of Ankara stuff in a video. If you've seen most of my previous videos, you would have seen where I talked about it. This is bumper jacket. I made like, I think I made like five to six bumper jackets. A lot of them actually with Ankara just because I, I i feel like okay it's going to go in handy for me and yeah have more ankara here guys like this is my ring light i'm going to show you guys how i package this and this is the tripod for my ring lights yeah more ankara and these are like a few thick clothes i took yeah you can see that i didn't really take any clothes i think we had uh, two leggings and that's all I'm traveling with so let me show you guys how i actually packaged this okay this is the ring light so i always knew i was going to travel with it anytime i was ready to travel this is it so i just used this nylon to go around it somehow and use the tape so the to go around it i already showed you guys in the clip that i showed you guys the tape please buy a tape like a lot because you, you're going to need it if you really want to do your packing well then i use this my jeans this my trouser okay guys so that's how i package this and we are good so i would, I would advise to get this type of bag a weightless bag because imagine putting all of this in an eco lab hmm. eco lab is already going to take like seven i don't know how many kg but not less than five kg that's definitely for sure so yeah and guys look i wanted to show you guys this stuff 
this stuff this is the scale the travel scale so get it except you want to run mad at the airport get it so that you can wear your stuff and just remove everything you have to remove at home and save yourself the stress and the harassment that will come because i can already imagine how immigration can be so that is all in a bit i'm going to show you guys what i have in that order uh the my food stuff and we are good so let's head over to what i have here this is my food this is my favorite food guys like Abacha is my favorite food and there's no way I would travel without it. Like, hee I love it so much. I need some dried ogu leaves. I've not labeled them because I was packaging them yesterday and my tape exhausted, but I've gotten one. So, when I'm done with this video, I'm going to go ahead and label them. This is few ogu leaves. This is not a... Uh, what is this leaf now? Okay, this is Uzuza leaf. This is snail. I packaged it today. I have not rebelled it yet. And this is um Ohali. Who dries Ohali? I'm just taking the risk. I don't know if this thing is going to be when I get to Canada, but then guys, I made a Oha soup like it tastes nice. Forget forget the color. And this is my obono. My mom just did like she outdid herself doing all these things for me. She dried them and sent them all the way down. Then this is a uh, otazi leaf. This is a uh, kokoyam powder. I've not rebelled it yet. These are my peppers. Like guys, this is the pepper gear. I love pepper, so I have I got a lot. Because anytime I'm going to be eating in that country, there must be pepper. Then this is my crayfish one. I think I have to eat this crayfish again. Um, this is bitter leaves. I've not rebelled it yet. Like I said, my stock got finished, but I'm going to do that now. This is stock fish. I'm going to rebel it too. And this is Maggi. Please, guys, buy spices. Like I heard like that you might not find our spices there, so get a lot of this but they are so wetty so just be ready and this is a potash I, I i put it in this my havila pouch i got this air freshener from a local market i just want to add it to my food stock bag i'm not going to open it just so it's uh, i'll probably show you guys later then these are more spices thyme coconut powder I have um, goat meat spice, onga, fried rice, and jollof rice spice here as well. And then I have my pepper soup spice here. What is this? This is, I think this is curry, dry curry leaf. This is curry powder. This is some gari. This is my dry fish. And this is my bitter leaf. This is bitter leaf. And my favorite stuff. <laughs> no cubes. This thing. Jesus. The weight. This thing is going to take like 5 kg alone. It's crazy. The more stuff for this the head. I'm looking for a way to wrap it better so they don't see the head. So they don't feel like I've killed somebody and wrapped the head. <laughs> and okay, my grand knot. What else do I have here? Okay, custard because I really like taking custard a lot. But if this stuff weighs so much, I'll probably remove this custard because I can actually survive without it. I'm more dry fish. And this is Oba, right? Yeah, this is Oba. Guys, I like Oba and I can make it very well. My grandma makes it, so I learned it from her. So I'm taking some powder. I wish I could take more, but my luggage is already. And this is a goosey. I had to eat a goosey soup, but I'm just roasting it. Then what is this? Oh, Olo or Unzu. I don't know what you guys call it. <laughs> I took some because I get easily irritated. And for the fact that I'm going to a country that I don't know what the food there tastes like, I'm going to have this handy. Then this is my suya spice. I wrapped it also in my Havila pouch. Yeah. So guys, that's it about my food stuff. I think I've just done justice to this video. 
so you get the idea of what you might want to take so you have an idea of what you might want to take with you to canada but the truth is that i watched a lot of videos to be able to come up with this list but at the same time it's not everything i saw in those videos that i got because some of them i don't eat them and, and i added the things i i like so just make a list with this video and narrow it down to your preference all right i'm just going to go ahead and pack this bag right and package it and go ahead with my weighing them again like i said i cannot even overemphasize this skill please get it it's going to save you a lot of stress all right guys so i'll see you in my next clip i'll be going to make my head tomorrow i'll probably see you guys tomorrow that's the truth yeah bye mm.